on up. We bite. <laughs> we bite like we left something. We bite like we left something. Look, Dak always lurking. <laughs> He's always lurking. I'm like that what safety. You know, hey, we said we bang like baggage claim. Man. <laughs> like baggage claim. <laughs> <laughs> to my right, Devin L. D. To my left, Coach Tommy Jones and myself. Can I, can I start this off by saying something? And I don't know where we're going with today's topic. And uh, You I'm, can't say that. We're going somewhere. <laughs> I didn't say we weren't going anywhere. I said I don't know where we're going. Oh, we're definitely going somewhere. Uh, I'm, I'm among some hoopers, some, some basketball heads, so I'm going to say this. Jones got a few mango seasons on me. I got a couple mango seasons on Mario. My cousin Dre was a very mango season. Is that more of a southern thing? Possibly. Yeah, because yeah. there ain't no mangoes in the in the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. That's a Tampa thing. That's a Tampa thing. So growing up, I, I I followed my cousin Dre around. He played at Brandon. They were pretty good. He was right after the Tony Mac era. I saw Tony Mack when I was a kid, when I, when I was 10 or 11. Then I saw him as a young adult in the Riverfront League, and he was probably 20 pounds overweight. Still the best player in the gym, amongst other pros. Uh, Tony, would, would, Tony would be what I described as a, a seeker, a bucket getter. Like, he's here to score. Uh, I graduated with a guy whose blood related to Mario Damon Smith, who averaged about 29, and it was super efficient. I felt like he probably should have shot the ball a little bit more. What this kid Emmanuel Sharp is doing, scoring all these points, averaging 25 as a freshman. Now, I'm not saying he's better than Tony Mack was, but he's the best absolute, what the kids call it, walking bucket. He's a walking bucket. He's the best walking bucket I've seen since Tony Mack. And Damon Smith. And Damon Smith. I just had to throw that out there. I don't know where we're going. Well, here's where we're going. And we were going a few places. Right. And those that are now welcome in, we, we, we touch on rare topics, man. We, we touch on pop culture. Um, the, 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 the gist of our, our, this podcast is for everything. But a lot of it can be sports related. It can be you know, socially related, a lot of things. But I want to get a county um, of Hillsborough and the city of Tampa some love in regards to the hoop. It's going to be some deficiencies in the midst of it. And it's, it's honestly amazing where my, my, my counterpart went with that because it is the state tournament um, on the basketball side of things. And we want to give uh, HP Plant some love, girls basketball, state champions. Um, the soccer team is now headed in that direction as well on the boys' side. I think the girls just lost so. I could be wrong in regards to one of them, but um, it's a lot of great things in regards to getting to, we look at the full state and basketball and, I, and, and, and my uh, encyclopedia or uh, almanac can, can answer this and, and know this and, and, or, or more than I can. But when you look at Hillsborough County basketball coach, um, I think we probably had no more than three state champions in the last 40 years. Since 1980, what we got, Jones? Plant City. We got City. Tampa Catholic. Oh, I'm going in order, basically in order. Plant City, Terry Rupp, one with Jesuit. Mm-hmm. Two. Tampa Catholic. Oh, mm-hmm. Plant City, Rupp with Jesuit, Tampa Catholic with Kenny them, Tampa Prep, another Jesuit, Sickles. Yeah, with Ronaldo. Yeah. So what we got six. Now we looking at the girls, and then we have Bishop. Well, Bishop is that's her. What Pasco? Right? Pasco, Pasco County. Yeah. But the girls would be what Jones, Tampa County. His daughter, they won two. Yeah, Plant just won. Plant theirs. just won it. Tech won a couple years ago. Yep. Um, did them girl teams win at uh at the academy with the, with the girl that won the Notre Dame? No, they came close a couple of times. Close. They were second. They was they didn't they didn't they didn't get it. I know uh, a random King team won it in the eighties. Yeah. We 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 want to we want to show a little, little love to. I know, the 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 TC is the first and only back to back state champion, male or female. Yeah, pretty. Impressive. And I know that because my daughter them. She laid it down. She laid it down. Yeah. You know. And and, and let's give the, the I ladies know we the, girls the ladies too. ladies some some props and we don't have that in that in front of us but we're gonna we're gonna this 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 this, this today's topic. Um, is we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna remix a lot. We're gonna we're gonna touch on you know some, some current events that's going on right now in our city. 
Um, and we're going to touch on, I think, I heard a term this past week, and I, I hadn't heard it, believe it or not, as much as I'm very, I'm, I'm pretty much on point in regards to the mental side of it, mental fitness. Um, I love the term, but um, what you guys don't know is in regards to where a lot of us are, are at in our present life of, of, you know, being where are you at mentally, you know, physically and emotionally in regards to your present life. So I, I do want to you know, touch on that, you know, that piece of it um, in this topic as, as well. But, you know, back to Hillsborough County, you know, you had a couple of teams lose early. Um, I think um, I want to say Stephanie Christian, you know, did pretty, pretty decent. You had um, uh, Brooks DeBarlow who went to had a nice run you know, on the girls' side of basketball. Um, girls basketball in Hillsborough County, man, is, is really doing, doing their thing, man. They have some potential girls that's going to go high major. They have some girls that are going Division I. Um, girls basketball is, is, is really, you know, on the precipice of really doing some, some pretty decent things here in the city uh, that we haven't seen in, in quite some time. Yeah. What was the girl name that played at Hillsborough? Teresa, remember the girl that played at Hillsborough? That was pretty good. That went to um, – I know, I know her first name was Teresa. I don't know why I'm thinking Edwards though, but no. it went it went Edwards. That was uh somewhere else. But you no, know, now with, with with where basketball is doing and, and 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 sports in general, man. I mean, us being Tampa guys, you know, being from the eight one three, you know, coach having his um, high level affiliation with you know being on the collegiate level and, and doing what he's doing and you know keeping the heartbeat of what's going on on the basketball side, trying to bring that side of you know those guys in. Um, but also us just being aware of what goes on in football and basketball and baseball and, and soccer. There needs to be some celebration. Volleyball. Volleyball. Volleyball as well. Um, That's been the king for yeah. football yeah, for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it definitely, it definitely been, you know, been that. But before we get in, you know, to that, that piece, again, congratulations to Plant, HB Plant. Congratulations. No high school, you know, alumni to my right. 2415 South Highlands. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Located conveniently. Oh, do y'all know but, how tough it is for me to say? Beneath, the, didn't, didn't the man say at the palms or something? Beneath the pines of Palmer Do y'all know how difficult it is <laughs> to be a Leto Falcon coach? What's, your, what's the name of y'all the gym out there? Falcon's Nest. The Falcon's Nest. Get it right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lunchroom tiles, not though. Ain't nothing. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, we, we need to get some money back to the school, man. I mean, I, I, I try, but, you know. But, you know, public school institutions, it is what it is. Um, but, fellas, I want to, I wanna, it's something dear to me, man. I, I, I've grown to um, love the men that I'm around, that I respect, that I appreciate, that I admire, that I, um, I learn so much from. And, and you two guys next to me are somebody that I now have presently in my life that challenged me in creative ways and I can learn certain things from. And I just want to, um, want to, to celebrate you, but also to, on this, on this, this, this platform that we have, man, and, and I don't think it's something that we do enough of is to see where you're at, you know, mentally. And, and I, so it may be a little uncomfortable, but, you know, for me, when it comes down to, you know, business, and I'll start it off. I mean, if I can, if I can put a number on it, and say I'm at a a ten being the best, and a and a and a and a, and a one being the worst uh, from business. You know, my mental mental health is something I work on daily. I'm, I strive for a ten every day. Um, present day, I'm at an eight. I lost somebody um, in the family that wasn't I wasn't close to. But anytime you lose somebody, it always puts things in perspective for me yeah. personally. Yep. Um, Business wise, it's it's a lot of uh, it's very erratic right now, which I personally don't do well with. Um, monetarily, I'm I'm fortunate because there have been COVID, owning a business, being an entrepreneur, that slowed down. You no know, small business, I think it was a targeting in the piece of that. So that's been a you know something that's wavered with me, you no know, mentally. So I can say I'm at a more more at a seven or eight, you know, in the midst of that. And then emotionally, family wise, it's 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 always um, because I work at it, man. It's, it's a nine or a ten. Um, so, you know, for me, it's you know I, I, I implement things that that mean something to me dearly. Where I, I, I practice good habits 
staying connected with those that are that are in the house, um, those that you love and you care about and you appreciate. Um, and I think we need to do do a better job of that. But you two men um, that I know personally that have dealt with or are dealing with certain things, I want to you know check in with you guys. You know, right here on the right here live on the show, man. You know. I- that, that mental health thing, man, it's uh, it's something you don't think about when you're young. You're just kind of going and time going and you're busy doing your thing. You know, and then you get a little older, you start losing people. You know what I mean? And you start seeing different sides of life and you start grinding every day. You know what I mean? And the more, the more you have, the more you got to worry about. What does it say? More money, more problems. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. It, it, it's, it's true to a point, you know. Oh, and it's, uh, it's super true. Yeah. And uh, mental health-wise, man, I'm probably at a six or seven. Struggling a little bit, you know. Got some things going on with my moms and my pops. Fortunate to have them, you know what I mean? And, I, and I've always kind of gone by the theory the longer they're here, the more they're going to be susceptible to other things late. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's where we're at in this point in life. So you're struggling with that. Because you're going from, you know, my dad used to always tell me, once a man, twice a child. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And, and, and I hadn't heard that one, Coach. Yeah, he said, once a man, twice a child. Heard that one. Where you, you come in a baby, and you're a child, and then you come up a grown man, you're doing your thing, and then as you lose things as you go, you get more dependent like a child. Yes, sir. And, and, and people, so you start watching those things happen, you know what I mean, and... um uh, dealing with some things right now, mm-hmm. and it's a struggle. And you know what I keep thinking and coming back to, man, I'm going to tell you, that, and I've said this in several things we talked about, man, one of the key cornerstones I'm starting to find out is, man, that self-love. Yes, sir. Man, you got to feel good about you. You know what I mean? You got to stay two steps on top of this thing because you're going to get knocked with one back. Yeah. Maybe two back. You know what I mean? But you can't go in the red. You can get knocked two back and be on even ground, but you right. can't get knocked in the neck because you might not come out that rabbit hole. You see what I'm saying? So it's a lot of little mental things, man, that, that play on you. And, again, I agree with 100% what you're saying about the people you surround yourself with, you know what I'm saying, that can kind of keep in touch with you and your feelings and your emotions. You know, <clears throat> and um, it's a lot of things happening. And it's a lot of things I start saying, why not? It's my turn. Why not? It, 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 I'm a person. I'm, it, I'm a man, and we're gonna go through similar things, similar problems, just at different stages. I, I honestly wish we did. Uh, um, I mean, this guy to my right, man. I mean, he don't he don't even know a lot of the stuff that um, that he's personally has challenged me with and helped me with. You know, personally, just by being able to, you know, with just that piece of. The uncomfortableness where it's a lot it's, it's uncomfortable to a lot of people to have vulnerable conversations you know it really is and I think us as melanated men we don't do the best job of that you know what I'm saying it's like we have to be tough we have to not be connected to our emotions we gotta we, we gotta be real yeah we gotta keep things factual yeah. you know I me and my daughter was having a conversation about something and she was like well you know and this happened and you know and and, and people dying, and I did. I said, I said, you know, and I made a little bit. I said, you know, we all dying to get up out of here. Yeah. You know what I mean? My favorite thing, coach, is we, listen, we all got a decaying body. Yeah. It's just only a matter of time. We all are decaying. Honestly. You know, That's you it. know, all, all of it. So. And you um, ain't got no say in that, in that process. You sure don't. So guess what? How many times you say, give you flowers now? You know and, what I'm and, that, and, that, and that's, and that's, and that's what I want to do. You know, coach, I know, I know. How competitive you are! Yeah. I know the the you know be you being where you at and and the admonishments you have for the people that created you, yes. raised you, you know gave you um, life and breathed life into you, showed you the intangibles, you know implemented a certain level of structure for you to be the man that you are today. Yeah. So a lot of times when we have that and we 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 know that and then because of the struggle and what we see in regards to that person that we admire and we we admonish and we love so dearly, um, it's okay to be able to feel. It's okay to check on on my brother and say, you know, coach, you 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 you're good. Yeah. And I don't want you to be good because I'm asking are you good. I want you to be good because you I know you're good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And this this guy to my right who 
have you know come up in in so many ways and and, and we have some some upbringing similarities in regards to being raised by you know somebody that didn't create you but was super duper old school and then you have these this toughness and tangibles and these things and then you you meet somebody that you see better than you see yourself but then around you you begin to lose people that you connected with on this time while you was on this earth and it's it's very hard when we've been conditioned to be tough be disconnected yeah. you know be this be that and i'm not asking you to cry or be emotional but if that's what you feel then you do it but it's like you good okay man I'm just just just, just let me know and you know yeah. what? you know what i'm saying I, i've gotten that question a lot as of late yeah some people know my situations and you know what i've said not today yeah not today and and i and it felt funny to say that that's our condition we've gotten right it felt funny to say that but at the same time, it was a relief to say that too. It's a, it's amazing. It's a, it's really amazing as I look at it, man. You know, us having so many similarities and then seeing a lot of our our people um, condition themselves to be able to just deal. Mm. That's what they're doing, just yeah. dealing, just, just dealing. dealing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like nah, like you know what? Come here, brother. Let me let me let me let me let me take you here and and, and let me let me let me hug on you and and and, and show you, man. Look, yeah. I love you. You know, it's, it's it's this is just part of the, the the life cycle. This comes with the territory, and let's continue to try to be able to strive forward. Let's have a level of fulfillment while we while we here temporarily on this earth. You know what I mean? Like it's it's and it's while we here what on this earth for what how fulfillment? Long? How long? It's it's temporary. Yes, sir. It's temporary. Whether you make it to you seventy, start, eighty, ninety, or hundred, you stop. You 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 man. When you were young, you think I'm gonna be here forever. But you know what's it's crazy? Is that, I remember I was 16. I thought a dude 27 was old. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was 16. That dude was 11 years old. 11 years old. Like, yeah. Like, bro, when I was 16, a dude my age, oh, he gone soon. That's, that's what I thought. And you know what's crazy? is, is the, I don't know why, but man, the, the, the number that resonated with me was 56. Oh. My grandma used to be like, I'm 56 years old. I'm like, 56? You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I know that. But I'm saying, listen, my, my grandma, I don't know what it was about this particular year. But she was like, I'm 56 years old. I'm going to always be growing into you. And I'm like, 56? Dang, Grams, you old as hell. You want to hear something funny? You know what I'm saying? You want to hear something funny? But not now. You want to hear, hear, hear a funny story? I wasn't even thought about when my grandma was 56. Wow. When I was born, my grandma was 63. Mm. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> but 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 it's all, you, you, you hear those, you hear that term and it's like, Man, when you think about man, just the 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 full spectrum of how we were conditioned, it's like, man, I I, I know I'm gonna go through this, but it's like, nah, you ain't supposed to feel this. Well, I'm a, I'm sorry, fellas. Right now, and the things I've learned through welcoming people in my life, and you know, being appreciated, and admired, and, and people telling me my level of vulnerability, it's it's assisting me in in so many arenas. That helped me be vulnerable. Allow me to say, okay, it's 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 okay to be it's okay. you know uh, emotional. It's okay to to love on your fellow man that you love, man, and you admire, man, and, and appreciate just because of what you bring to my life day in and day out. Okay. I look forward to this. We have, I look forward to having that conversation. Then we have a thing with time. What is toughness and all of this? We talked mm-hmm. about it one time. You ain't tough because you ignoring it. They ain't you ain't. They don't make you tough. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and and, it, and it's. It's you know so it, it, I think we need to, to to do a better you know a better job amongst the community of people, you know not us but I mean I I don't I don't I don't mind it because honestly man for me, it's it's that like running a business every single day whether you're running a business whether you're taking care of a child whether you coexisting with with your mate and your loved one your wife your this that and the other you know what I mean it's always work you know what I mean but what's how does that intimate time look for yourself. You know what I mean? How does that autonomy feel? You know what I mean? Within self that you need to be able to do in regards to those habits. Who's holding you accountable? Who's your accountability partner? You know what I mean? Who's checking in on you? Because when you have, when you come from where we come from, the level of toughness, it, it, it's it's manipulated in a sense. Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't even a, 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 piece, a point of reference. It's like, oh, Tommy gonna be okay. Man, that good. Mario good. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm good because I have to be good. But at the same time, I'm really not. So for me, man, the fellas, I, I just want to let, let, let both of you guys know is, 
is, man, I'll continue to do my part, man, because um, I want you guys to know that you definitely helped me, you know, day in and day out, you know, having this platform. I will, I definitely lean on you guys for just any any level of, of, of you know, acumen that you can give me or a certain level of things that you can inform me on to be able to learn. I really do pay attention to every single thing and learn. I promise you I do. I don't that's, have all the answers. And that's what you call getting the most out of this thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And it's, it's, it's bigger than us just sitting here um, and, and, and speaking, on, speaking to, the, to the world in regards to what we know. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we human beings. You know what I mean? We guys that do feel. We guys that are, that are going through something, well, that will go through something. And that's what people forget. You know, we get on here a lot of time talking about sports and talk about all that. Man, it's a, it's, it's, I, I, somebody was like, hey, man, what happened this with the squad? I said, hey, man, I say I ain't get back to you. I got real life going on right now. I got real it's life always, going on. Always. It's always going it's on. It's always going on, but it's hitting hard right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I told somebody, I said, I ain't realize it, man, with what I'm dealing with right now and everything. And my little brother came home and kind of holding it down a little bit uh -huh. with my moms and all that. My whole attitude changed today. The situation ain't changed. Right. My whole and I say, man, you will never know how much pressure you own, you under, until somebody come and take a little bit off of you. Right. Then I say, I say, damn, I feel better today, today. even though the situation ain't changed, but it's done some of that pressure off. Yeah, but and, and also you surrounded by a little love. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That that that, like, that when's the last time you physically seen your little brother? Right. Five, six years. Yeah, and that and that whole that holds weight. You know, I I I look at my guy here too, right? Who's, you know, what I mean, despite whatever you know goes on, when you connect with people, you connect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you see them go on, I don't care how tough you may think you are, that 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 hits somewhere. That hits home. Right. And, and 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 Debonair being, you know, one of those guys that you know we know the the, the barracks of where he he come from and what he's about and what he's on. But you know he's. He's been somebody that's that's lost, you know, somebody that's been dear to him. Yeah. When you, and you have to check in. When I heard about Pretty Slim, I thought about you immediately. Yeah. Because I know y'all yeah. was tight. And I was like, yeah. I said, you know, and I had called you. I said, you good, boy? Yeah, Pretty Slim. We lost again. We lost a soldier, Mike Brown. We lost him on Sunday. The, the ironic thing was I spoke to him Friday night. And he, you know, sounded kind of short of breath. And he was like, well, I had went to the hospital. My son had a beach workout that Coach Mario left for him. I'm standing out there in the sun trying to look pretty while they're doing the workout. <laughs> My son beat me down a little bit. So I was like, I'm going to catch up with Pretty Slim tomorrow. That's, That's what right. I said. I'm leaving. I'm going down to Cyprus. I was like, no, nah, let me go over here. So I jumped on the interstate, went over to the sandwich shop. Because if I heard any, if I would have heard like him wheezing or something, I'm like, you got to go back to the hospital. But let me let me let me let me let me let me cut you off real quick, Doc. I mean, you being fatigued, you sitting out in the sun watching your son work out, knowing what the sun do to you. Nine times out of ten, you probably would have went home. Oh yeah. Intuition told you something different. Yeah, cause I I just I I made the left on there, you know, maybe and jumped you know. up on the interstate, got over there. When I get there, he watering the the little plant that they the little garden that they had. Right. right. So me and him go to back and forth. We talking shit a little bit. He telling the son, oh, put them tiles back in the, in the utility shed and do this. We sit at a table across from each other, pretty slim, me, his wife, my son sent back here on his phone. Coach Corey's son, you know Coach Corey. Yes, sir. Look, Corey come up because he's seen the cause. We sit outside for three hours. He laughing and everything. You know how like when you got a chest cold, if you laugh too hard, you grab your chest. Right. Nothing. So I was like, oh, shit, obviously he good. Right. We get the call the next morning. That he passed overnight. And what, did we talk about a matter of six, Jeez, seven what, hours later? Twelve, what, 15 hours? Yeah, because we left, we, I got up at like 12 o'clock. We sat there like 3.30. Oh, okay. It was about 3.30. So 15, 16 hours. And it was just, I was like, oh, okay, it's too early. Probably, maybe I'm dreaming for a split second. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Yeah. And then, um. Uh, Cause it was crazy. My son was doing something. He asked me for a password. I thought I heard him say, "Dad, what's the password?" He was like, "No, nah, Mom just said Big Mike pass." Wow. So I was like, "Then it was, you know, processing all that, yeah. and especially that I was just with him yesterday." But what's even more interesting about it is probably the second time in two years that it's happened, and my son has seen it. 
So about our meals, the mm-hmm. day before he passed, we at the baseball field watching my nephew, which is his grandson, play a baseball game. We sitting around telling stories about being at the old house on Cypress by Alessia Bakery. You know, that's where Vardell and Rodney grew up right. at. Then we get the call Sunday morning. He died in a motorcycle wreck. So I used to always tell my son, you know, UGK got a song, one day you're here and the next day you're gone. Right. It's literally like that. Literally. Right. So I told my son got in the call yesterday from school. I was like, what's up? And he was still in the days. I said, what? He like, I went to the wrong lunch. He like, I walked into a class wrong. I said, why? He was like, I couldn't stop thinking about Big Mike. Yeah, you it's know, a, it, it was it's just it's a weird time. And then like I told Mario, like the first night it happened, when I woke up that morning at like 540, it literally felt like, and I know people always say it felt like a weight. It felt like I was weighed down. I was yeah. like, damn, I'm tired. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it was the work I was getting up here at Legacy at 5135 West Cypress. Sweet 103. <laughs> Sweet 103. I don't know if it was that or it was like, 07. 07, yeah. <laughs> but uh what exit was it? For the dude. <laughs> For the dude. I'm take a drink that's of water. That mental health we talking about though. Yeah, but, I was just but, a little tired. Yeah. But, but and I and I and I think that can transition into into, um, and it's it's funny, man. A, a lot of that perspective on a lot of things. I had the same perspective until I learned about the mind. Right. I learned about mindfulness. So, so what? So what Mario was saying is, he's trying, <laughs> right. to, he's trying to tiptoe around it. Oh no, no, I, I'm not. I, tip- used, I used to give people a hard time. I used to be like, I don't want to hear nothing about no mental health. And if you got to tough it out, you got to be a man. A few years ago, and Coach Jones came to my mom's uh, funeral. My mom passed, and uh, we weren't particularly close, but she still, you know, that was my mom. That's your she mom. She cared you. So uh, we did the funeral and it was all this stuff. So the following Sunday, I fell asleep at like two o'clock and then wake up to like seven o'clock the next morning. Yeah. And Marie was like, You were exhausted. I was like, nah. She was like, nah. She was like, I couldn't even wake you up. Yeah. And that was the first time I was like, well, maybe this little mental health stuff, you know, maybe you can't get like <laughs> emotionally drained or like, you know, but I used to always hear people in my head using it as a crutch. Yeah. Like, hey right. Jones, why you why you ain't um Go get the such and such. Oh, I was mentally exhausted. Like, like man, get out of here. I don't what were you we saying man. though before we got on the air? What we were saying, man, that that mental fatigue is far greater than that physical. Yeah. And like I said, I had I hadn't heard the term, you know, mental mental fitness. Right. You know what I'm saying? Up until probably last week. And you know when he's when he says what he says, I'm like, for me, understanding the the highest level of compartmentalization that a lot of great athletes can do, and people can do because especially let's call it what it is coming from our culture you have to if you see a, a traumatic experience mm-hmm. you have to be able to bounce back you see somebody get shot in the head that happens where you're in your hood that's where you're from you still got to go to school and read that book and, and and comprehend that test and make that a that happened last night leave it there go right. do what you need to be able to do well, but i'll say this for me growing up with a family full of older people the thing about old people is they die so I went to a lot of funerals growing up. And I always thought it was weird, like, how comfortable my mom and my aunt them were, like, at funerals. You know what I'm saying? Jones, like, they all in the casket touching stuff. Wow. I used to be like, you know, but, like, that's what happens to older people. They die. So you look up, you going to two funerals every year, which don't sound like a lot. But, you know, yeah, it is. It, you it's 2001. Yeah, it and is. Your great aunt was born in 1906. I, like, old people die. I asked my dad some years back. It seemed like every weekend he was going to a funeral. I said, man, you got to stop going to funerals and everything, man. He said, man, people dying, and I know him. And I said, yeah, but that, that can't be good for you mentally and all that. He said, that's, he said, that's part of it. He said, keep living. <laughs> keep living. He said, you're going to see too. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, everything that with my parents, are just we always been like in your face, blah. blah right. Just, just what the deal is. Adjust to it, deal with it, understand it. You know what I'm saying? Educate yourself on it, but it's gonna happen. And I, I, I personally wish like we we did a better like a better job amongst us to really like, coach. You got a firm grip on the inevitability. It's it's going to happen. You know what it's I mean? Same happen. thing. Same thing with your you know Devin. But I just wish we was we was cognizant of just really acknowledging the fact that. If I'm going to complain day in and day out, and I'm gonna throw 
you know, negative superlatives at a person and I'm going to do this, this, and this. It's like, do you not understand that the energy that you spew to somebody, they can literally be gone tomorrow? I personally don't believe in going to bed with a certain level of angst. I don't believe in it. I really don't. Like, and, and part of it is because of internal work that I've been able to do for myself. You know what I'm saying? Go hey, to it for yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so me in the road. <laughs> and this is this is a, a pretty slim story. Probably about a month ago, he on the phone. He tried to get some information from me. He talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. I'm like, well, damn. So we have kind of some words. He called me the next morning at six o'clock. Nick might have to edit this out. I'm like, damn, my phone ringing at six o'clock. It's pretty slim. Yo, what's up? Yeah, motherfucker, I'm sitting outside your house. Nigga, you finna fight me. A real. <laughs> and we're going to get some coffee afterwards. <laughs> That's what you told him? No, that's what he told me. He called my phone. Yeah, you talking that shit on the phone last night. Yeah, you finna have to fight me. But you know, that's just how, I, you know, and then when he saw me here, he's like, hey, I love you. I'm like, I love you too. You know what I'm saying? It's probably about two, three months ago. But like, that was, like, that was the, the nature of our relationship. Like, that was my partner. We had words. He said tomato, I say tomato. We still partners. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like Mario just said, you spewing a level of negativity at somebody, then when they die, you're going to be crying the loudest at the funeral because yeah. I done seen it. What I learned over time, man, a, a lot, and it took a while over time, I'm not, I'm, I'm not putting another dime. I'm not putting another minute into the negativity. Yes, sir. The, the arguing yes, back and forth, I'm not doing it. Yes, sir. Nah, I ain't telling. I ain't telling you, Mr. Sunshine and Roses, that I'm not going that direction. Dandelions. That's yeah. what. That's what y'all two have helped me with. You know, this is. Oh, I tell you, day twelve of me not losing my temper <laughs> at some nonsense. And and and, and 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 you know what? I mean, listen, a a a real man is going to express what they've been able to be conditioned and helped through. And, and, I, and I give him, I, I, I know him. But when a man feels the level of trust, when a man feels good about a situation and they know they're they going to be judged, ego is out the way, they're going to be like, look, Doc, man, you help me with this, this, and this. I don't care where he take it, if he was going to take it somewhere, because I know I trust him with the information. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's a, a, it's a cultural thing. So to, to sit, for him to sit here and admit of what he's been helped with is saying, okay, you know what, I'm not going to lose my temper off of minuscule things. You know what I'm saying? Like, that speaks volumes for him to eat, even if just be able to practice because obviously that wasn't the goal, but he see like, dang, you know what, Reed? Like, you know what, Coach, you're you right. I don't have to. I'm not going to give you that power. Like, yeah, getting all of that. you know what I'm saying? It ain't doing nothing for me. You know what I mean? So <laughs> one day I was bringing some food. I forgot from Pretty Slim. Some sandwiches yeah, for the team. Were, yeah. From pretty slow. I pull in. It might have been a Bucks. No, it had to be a, a USF game. Yes. And I get it. I know that they use HCC for parking or whatever. It's this and that. <laughs> I get it. But I'm coming in. I'm being real cordial with the guy. I'm like, hey, I'm dropping the, uh, sandwiches off for the basketball team. They got a game uh, coming up in a few hours. I don't know what he said. He was on the phone. I pulled off. I come outside. He walking towards me aggressively. So, you know, <laughs> I don't like uh, the energy this bit. I'm like, I'm going to match want? it. You're going to match oh, it. I'm going to match it. What, yeah. Joe, what's your term? I see you and I raise you. I raise you. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, what's going on? All right, man. All right, man. All right. Everything good. <laughs> no, 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 what is he talking about? Yeah, what's happening? You know what hey, I'm well, I, told, I said, look here, man. We got this right here. <laughs> all right, because I know he, you finna bite off more. You can true. All right. I got a young fella right here. Look at him. He got, 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 got. Right. I'm, I'm pulling this chain. Relax. Yo, Connie Corso. Hey, hey, hey. A pit bull. Hey. And Mario, know this. My, my thing is, I don't like to be accused of anything. Right. No. Like, because my, my big thing is, uh, if I don't know what I'm talking about, I generally keep my mouth shut. Yeah. So I expect the same and, from people. And I'm tight roping. <laughs> I'm tight roping the thing because you don't mess with a man with stuff like that. That's right? real. Right. You gotta be careful because he didn't. Then he, what the fuck are you doing? I'm right. trying to fix this. Which I wouldn't say that to Joe. No, I know you would, yeah. but you still gotta respect the man and where he's going. And I say, I say, bro, I got you. Right. Yeah. Like, I say, man, look here. He, this, what the deal is, is good. 
We know you over there. I done ran through the whole scenario. We know you right. over there. We know this. I got you, man. Yeah, and I get it. I know he had a job to do too in USF, the park. No, you said that after you calmed down a little bit. Yeah, like the next day. I yeah, said this. That. <laughs> I said that Sunday morning. Yeah, but he wasn't thinking about. He wasn't thinking about. He wasn't thinking about that as as, as well. He wasn't. Yeah. No, the, 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 the. Yeah, like you're trying to exercise your little power, man. You gotta relax. But see, again, now let me go. So I'm gonna tell you, again, man, when you feeling real good about you, I'm laughing at you with that. Really, bro? That's where we going? Right. Look here. I ain't stunning you because I done dropped the sandwiches off. Right. I'm finna go back out, all right? And you can keep talking because I'm finna go. Right. I so, ain't, so, I ain't so, indulging so, with this. So when, when, it, when it goes to, you know, that, that, that level of, of, of expression, man, I think young, old, Black, white, or green. Um, let's begin the day, man, just to do a, a better job of that. I think obviously we've implemented those habits, you know, amongst one another. We've had un- uncomfortable conversation with one another. We'll have uh, we'll have uncom- uncomfortable conversations on this platform. Um, well, but at the end of the day, we we know it's it's never personal, you know. At the end of the day, there's a high level of love amongst the community of guys that's that's here, you know, next to me. And we'll we'll continue to be able to do that, man. So I think let's 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 make sure we stay, you know, in the in the in the realm of, you know, really understand how 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 important it is and how vital it is to to be able to check in because yeah. it matters when you check in. It don't yeah. matter when nobody else don't. You know what yeah, I'm that's saying? Real. That's yeah, real. yeah. Anybody else that that have showed me their hand, I can care less about them checking in. You know, one thing you I know, like you know about young fellow over there, we've been knowing each other for I knew when we was a little pup. <laughs> All right. He wasn't growling though. No. Nah. I mean, and he'll hear me, he'll hear me when I'm talking. But then every now and then, he said, he said, he said, old oh, man. Yeah, I don't think you, you know, that right there now. You come on now. Yeah, you're going too far. You're going too far, old man. Come he tell on. me that all the time now. Yeah. You know, it might have been a situation where Jones might have said something to one of his kids. And I know we got that type of relationship. You know damn well I ain't trying to tell him how to raise his kids. Right. I'd be like, Jones, like, you, you got to relax. <laughs> like, I got a homeboy, Mush. Like, you know how I'm about my son. We at their house one day. And I'm not a real big candy eater. Mush and his family, they, you know, they got oatmeal pies, drinks. So we'll go to their house. My son's a little boy. I'd be like, you can't eat no candy, blah, blah, blah. God bless the dead. Mush dad, Mr. Pelham was like, boy, I got plenty of money. That's what I buy for. They eat what they want to when they hear. For real. So I'm in, I'm in there going off on my son one day. Mush was like, hey, man, that's about enough of that shit. And I like, you know, and Mush, you know, Mush don't like to, Mush don't even like to get like that old Pelham, but he was like, he like, come on, like, you got to relax, though. That's enough. But what was that one day when, when I was working with Nolly and doing something? <laughs> and you like that. did something. I was like, come on, man. That shit was horrible. Joe was like, hey. Oh, no, no, no. I had that moment with him. <laughs> But you like, know what I said? Like, he said, Reed, I can't say that. I'm like, no. My, no. My, it's not like for real. I'm saying it. No, it's for real. No, like when I said, I said, come on now, that shit was horrible. Jones stopped the ball and said, hey, man, that's enough. But, 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 but here's what he don't realize. <laughs> he lived with Nolly day in and day out. Nolly, what he says, it's the gospel. Oh, the right. Person. You know what I'm saying? Like, And, and we got different type of person. We got different personalities. Right. What do you think? I'm a... A and, joke. I'm gonna say and, something. And, and, now and, they don't like all and that. You know, you know, you know what I was related by that because I'm just, I was the same way with my child. Right. right. And I'm like, dang, no, no, no. Right. I learned. Like, no, nah, you can't. And I'm sure I was too. You know, uh, we listen. It, it's the it's the when you look at it, man. It's literally the habits and the conditions and the things that we've seen yes. that we felt like we had to implement to our own. Yeah. Good, bad, or indifferent. You know what I mean? Some of it was relevant, like. My son, I, and I was, I, I didn't know I was doing right or wrong, you know what I mean? Because ain't no blueprint on raising a kid. But he was like, you know, Dad, man, I, I, wouldn't, I really wouldn't want it no other way, man. I learned, you know, this, this, and this. But it's like, when you look at, we, we, we getting on Dad, you're like, no, nah, Dad, you can't say that. Right. It's like, but you understand the condition of what you putting them in? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, you can't do that. But like you said, personality's different. Yeah, mine you know and saying? my son, they totally different. Yeah, you know, totally different, you know, upbringings, you know, in the midst of that. One thing he told me one day, we'll see people, you know, obviously he's 6'5". Right. He'll be like, oh, you who? He'll be like, yeah. You can beat your daddy? I'll be like, no, nah, he can't beat me. I'm still, I'm still sure enough. I got the belt. You know what he told me one day in the car zone? He said, dad, he said, look at how you look. <laughs> 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 he was like. If you telling people that you could beat me, they gonna think I ain't nothing then. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> he ain't nothing. I told his mama, she talking about, I 
me up. Look at you. I'm like, damn. Wow. <laughs> Based on what you used to look like, baby. I right. still know you're not. Right, but she like. I mean, but baby, look here. She like, look at you. Nanda. Nanda. When he said that, when he was like, damn, stop telling people you could beat me. Because then they think I ain't nothing. That's funny. I was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, I got to respect that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you did, you did, you did. Cause I don't look like this in my head. You did. Oh, no, of course you. We never date. We never do. Yeah, I told. I was walking by the bank downtown. I'm dying. So, so I'm, I'm walking by the bank one day. I see a big dude follow me. You know what I do? It's me in the mirror. One hundred. <laughs> That's one hundred. You all right? Who the hell is this? <laughs> Well, look, man, look, 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 look. So look. I made somebody trailer. Hey, look, 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 look. But like I said, man, another shout out oh. to the surrounding uh, Hillsborough oh. County and, and their state championships. <laughs> uh, Bishop, Emmanuel, Coach Shaw, guys, we personally know, man, go out and get you a chip. Uh, but today was, you know, simply about, you know, just, just being able to check in, you know what I mean, with men, you know, with men that, um, you know, and, and with everybody. If you have a friend, um, you know, a, a male friend, a female friend, you know, do a better job of, of just, just seeing where they at, man. Cause you know, I, I, I grew up in an era where, you know, everybody that I went to school with, you know, I, I can still touch them and, and, and see them because we didn't see a high level of, of, of suicides and, you know, different things and, and manic depressions and, and this, that, and other. Now it's a little different. Check in with your friends, check in with your family. Um, and I don't do the best job of that personally. But I'll, I'll I'll be cognizant of being able to do better. Um, but I but anybody that's 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 near to me and dear to me know that I do a great job of, of making sure I check in with them, whether we see one another on a daily basis, um, talk about talk to one another, um, and you have to you have to be, have a great barometer on you know what's the what's the best time to be able to have you know that conversation. You know, with that being said, is is as I'll never forget. I started off on the last one. Well, let's keep it going. Oh, we're gonna start off again, but back, back with me. I've been starting off the last three three rotations. You ain't did that many now. Three straight. You gotta Come relax. on now. Come on now. Three straight. You gotta relax. For a while, I, I was carrying this thing. John was holding it down. Okay. What, 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 what was happening? You, 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 <laughs> Go ahead, young brother. You, no, let's, you ain't started now. Yeah, not I, one time. Yo, on one. you. I got so many, y'all. I gotta hear y'all's first. Then that's when I come. See, oh, that's yeah. how I was rocking for a minute. Well, let the old man go. He got he got a few more than we got. Listen, man. Uh, uh, I never forget. I don't know why I'm on this little thing right there, but I never forget, man. Playing a little ball, you going to the football games, you got your little leather jacket on. I don't even know they still wear them things. I don't even know. They still fly too good. Leather, leather, leatherman jacket. Yeah, wear your little leatherman fly. jacket. Everybody know who you are. Yes, sir. Everybody know you who? Had that big TC on. What? Everybody <laughs> know. Had a white, what you had, the white leather sleeve? With the white leather sleeve, yes, man. Everybody know who you are. You got a little name. And, but to the public school, do you the Catholic school boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, no twice. You ain't nothing. Yeah, you ain't nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You crush one till, on. Till you crush one on. Till you get, right. There you get them, there you boy. Go. Right. But I just remember them days, man. It was good times. And I, and, and I just remember at that time, man, I remember real good being a freshman. And I was like, I got three more years of this. I'm good. They went fast, didn't it? Next thing I, next thing I woke up, boy, we was on about the last game of the senior <laughs> year. I said, what the, what happened? You know what I mean? But yeah. I, I never forget it. You know, and I can remember games and situation time, and it's just like, it's a good memory, especially as you get older, mm -hmm. man. You know, and then mm -hmm. I look at some of the young dudes, and they doing their thing or whatever, and they got love for all of them, no hate, none of that, man. And it's like, but just to watch the time go by, you know what I'm saying? Watch you become, and I remember like we were saying earlier, you see a certain dude, you're like, man, that dude pretty old. Mm -hmm. Well, this, that, now, now I'm that old dude. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yes, and so I'm hoping that as I say, I never forget, I'm hoping I can live up and be as good as a man to them young cats as some of the dudes was to me. Mm -hmm. So I never forget them times, man. It was some good times. Some real you good know, times. Yeah, some good times, man. And you young, you going to the game. People know who you are. You hooping. It seems like it's going to last forever. I never forget It'll be that. some good times. Yeah. yeah, man. Everybody can relate to that now. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? 
I think I, one of my biggest, uh, I'll never forget, it's sports related, but it ain't had nothing to do with me. I just remember uh, 1989, uh, the Miami Hurricanes, um, watching them play, they go to Florida State. Now, the year before, they just beat Florida State 31 zip on opening night. Beat them in Miami, so they go into Tallahassee wow, all right. day. I remember that. We playing, I'm playing for the Spars at the time. I'm like, well, I cannot wait to get home for this Florida State Miami game. I had a computer teacher at, 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 at Wilson named Mr. Newhouse. Everything in his room was Florida State. I've been talking trash to Mr. Newhouse since last year. Yo, Florida State, y'all ain't never gonna win. <laughs> like, Miami just beat y'all 31 zip and y'all supposed to be ranked number one. Yeah. Never forget it. They beat us 2014 up there. Crush. Crush. <laughs> Crush. Tampa's on, Bernard Clark on the team. Ooh. Tiger rocking that 57. <laughs> Just couldn't beat him. And uh, got back to school. You know, back then, you in the state of Florida, you lose a game. Mr. Newhouse get cocky. He's like, yeah, we finally go bring home our first chip. Matter of fact, Dak, if we don't win, you can miss every Monday and just go hoop. Wow. Wow. Because in his head, Oh, we beat Miami. It's over. Yeah, yeah. Right. I ain't got to do nothing. They knocked us off or whatever. Somehow Miami miraculously wins the chip. I don't. I can't remember what happened. So Miami don't win it all that year. Miami, they they got beat by Florida State twenty four to ten and won the chip in eighty nine. Florida mm-hmm. State got beat. They got beat. Or maybe we know the Dane got them or something. Else somebody else. So we have to somebody go back to look. Them. We got to go, go back to look at that. I'm surprised you don't know that. It might have been. I, I don't know what happened. But you I just know Miami got a chip the year that they lost to Florida State. Unusual. And Mr. Newhouse was, he was livid. <laughs> I'm talking about like, to the point like his ears are getting red. I'm messing with him so bad. Now, mind you, this is pre-Bobby Bowden winning a chip. Yeah. And uh, I was just telling, again, pretty similar this story. I begged my grandma that year. I got to get a green hurricane jacket with the orange letters. Got to have it. Got to have it, Reed. She caught it. To the ground. Let's go. To the ground. Well, I'm wearing that thing to the skating ring, (laughs) in the house party. Boy, it could drop five degrees. I got him on. Sporting the weather. What? Sporting the weather. It's hot in Florida. He got I'm on the jacket. The green one with the orange letter that said Hurricanes go out the front. I like it. I like it. Boy, I never forget it, boy. I never forget that. I'll never I love forget. It. I love it. Starter jackets, man. I mean, Dak just touched on starter jackets and, and all that. I what mean, you got? what you got? My first starter jacket was Atlanta Hawks, but I ain't where I'm going. Okay. I, I'll never forget. And, and, and I, I do want to admit, like, me, me, sports stories are, are, are very welcoming. It's not the most comfortable thing for me, personally. <laughs> Be honest with you. After I done told about all my failures, you can't be hey, too. It's too pretty. One of the lights can pretty dudes. Huh? I mean, it's very uncomfortable. But so. me and Jones are talking about some humbling experiences. Okay. Up there, boy. Sure I, done gave, I done gave you a couple humbling ones, but sure it just, it's just, it's just not. But I, I didn't want to bring another quarter, over, but I got, I got some time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give it to us. Come on. So, so you know, I'm, I'm probably about 13 years old. No, I'm sorry, I'm about 11 years old. I'm playing for the. You uh, six three then. No, I went 6'3". 6'4". He's a left right the big wheel looking crazy. I'm playing for the Mets, Coach Mirror, Yellow Jackets, a uh, little league. And I'm really starting to come into my own in, in the game of baseball. I'm, 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 I'm pretty good. I'm throwing a baseball at probably s- between 70 miles and 80, 85 miles and 80 miles per hour pitched in, in little league. Yes. Big John, yes. John, I hit it to uh, the river. He, he capping. I was bad. I've never touched but, baseball. But, but, um, but I, I, I'll never forget, you know, one day I'm, you know, I don't know, we was, it was the first of the month, typically the first of the month, there was a celebration, you know, AFDC happened, welfare check come in, you yeah. getting some Popeye chicken or something. Yes, sir. There's some Luther Vandross playing. We hanging out. We in swank. trees. We swank. <laughs> right? So I decided to try to show out in front of my, my, my cousins. So we come in the house, we go to get, you know, they had the number of little quarter juices. With the little, what's called yeah. the top, you pull off, you yeah. drink your little juice. So we have to go in here and get, get us a juice, cause. Go get us a little juice. So we go upstairs. We're a little fatigued. We've been outside all day since like 8 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, being a curious kid, I take a, uh, 
a lighter. Oh. And you finna get the whole room. Whoa. And I I light my grandmother's um candle shade. I mean, I'm sorry, not candle shade, lamp shade. And that was your grandmother's. My grandmother's. They made a different now, material then, so that thing caught quick. There you go. Instant. Right. Instantly. So, so so. And he panicked. Yes, so, sir. So so listen, <laughs> listen, y'all y'all just hit on the head. <laughs> So for me, oh, I'm showing out. I'm thinking you little burn little leaf. It just burn. You're like, oh yeah, look at this. This cool. I hit it. Pew. It went boom. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> listen. She should have locked your ass. Listen, up. hold on. I'm gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> oh, I, she got it. I burn a lampshade up. White lampshade. She go crazy on me. Whoop me. Throw the lampshade in the um in the in the tub. Turn the water on. Put the fire out. Right. So I get a whooping. She, cr I cry to sleep. <laughs> but here, here, go the, here go the worst. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even breathe. Right. Right. Tear me up. Right. Get a whooping. So I'm like, okay, I'm straight. Got a baseball game tomorrow. We playing the Giants. I'm good. Oh. You know what Grandma say? Oh. Look here, babe. I already know. Oh, you ain't playing no baseball for the next two weeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> Double jeopardy. I said, oh, so, so not, not, not me. Shout out to my daughter, Sienna Do or Love It, because she's just like me. I wouldn't go try to negotiate anything, personally, as a kid. I'm like, Grandma, you already gave me a whooping, and I can't play? She said, it's tough. you're not. I said, what? She said, you ain't playing no more baseball? First, she told me Hold I wasn't on. playing no more. She said I wasn't playing no more. Then she said, you're not playing for the next two weeks. Now, the next two weeks was like, Games that was very imperative to us going to city county. Let me tell you something. I'll never forget the feeling of taking away a sport that I love so much from literally. You this lampshade ain't even gonna be here next year. <laughs> why you? Why you? Why, why you? Why you reprimanding me like this here? Because grandma was making a point. Well, listen. I know you painted when that thing caught on fire. Who did I paint it? Uh, you see, I say the material. Listen, I know that, that flannel there. Yes, sir. To this day, I promise you. To this day. Well, you might as well let, you might as well let a stack of hay, boy. Listen, not one other time ever, 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 ever that I get in trouble. I got in trouble. But then she she did her job then. Boy, listen. She did her job. When I burn that candle, they were laughing. I got a whooping. My cousin them laughing. I go to sleep. I get up. They calling me stupid. They doing this, that, and other. <laughs> listen, and then. Now, again, y'all know about my attitude at that age. Mm -hmm. I want to fight now. Somebody get, 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 got to show me one. Right. Somebody got to show me one. But then I can't play no more baseball. Ooh. Grandma, don't do me like that. So I'll never forget. Never forget. Grandma taking away baseball for burning up a lampshade. Grandma took you all up and threw that. I'll tell my bust, my crush, yeah, my that heart. Was that, that was Marjorie? Yes. Marjorie. Yeah, Marjorie. She, she, she did her thing. She did her thing. She went over the So, so the, the discipline you see today was because of little stories like that and things that I had to be able to learn the hard way. And I'll I'll never forget that. Keep you away from the lampshade. Keep it, stay away from the lampshade, he kids. He don't have any in his house right now. None. <laughs> Traumatized. Zero. Traumatized. <laughs> don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment with the topics you want to hear next. Ooh. Oh Lord. Damn. Keep it a Honda. Hey, we 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 look forward to the next topic. We out. Uh, hit the button. Hit the like button. Hit the um, and we out. Nine nine ain't good enough. Well, we keep it a Honda. Keep it a Honda.